Hey guys, how's it going and welcome to the sweatiest players ever. Today you're going to see some of the sweatiest players in the history of Ultimate Team. If you need coins, then go to thefootop.com for cheap and instant coins and use Matt HD for 10% off. And the best idea in the comments below for the next team builder will win 50,000 coins. And let's go. So to kick things off guys, we start off with the sweatiest goalkeeper ever and we do go with Joe Hart and his blue team of this season. 88 rated card and this is some amazing saves here that you've seen on screen from FIFA 12. It really was a god in goal and even today with his 83 rated card on this year's ultimate team he is still today one of the sweatiest goalkeepers on FIFA. Next up though guys we could not do a sweatiest team ever or sweatiest players ever without this USA international himself. This is a Marvel win the centre back with 93 pace on FIFA 13 and did have a very nice long shot there as well uh, back on FIFA 13 and my god his pace is just ridiculous and he was actually a bronze, I don't know, I think he's a bronze this year actually, he's all a right back then at right back though guys we go with Kai Walker here and really could have chose any Kai Walker however we do go with a team of the season version of Walker from FIFA 12, a speed demon right back and really was a crazy good defender the next sweatiest centre back ever is of course David Luiz and oh my God. He's such a bad man. He really is a shutdown centre back, guys, and he can score goals like that. I mean, really is a total centre back. You know, he's got good pace, good strength, and overall, he just destroys strikers on this year's FIFA. He just is an animal of a player on the game. But next up, we go with the Beast, and one of my favourite players. And yes, he's a bit, a bit of a guilty pleasure. This guy. It is Inform Taiwo from Marseille on FIFA 11. This man was absolutely amazing and he really was the ultimate sweaty defender but when it comes to having a good free kick an amazing long shot and just overall very good strength as well you couldn't get a better left back in fact i probably go on record saying he will probably is uh, for me the best ever left back in ultimate team he just was good at everything now i move on to the sweatiest left mid or left winger ever and had to be the word of bremen dutch international ellie here the five star skill of beast he always is a very very cheap player on the game and you know considering he's got five star skills he always is a very good player to use but for me last year was his sweatiest ultimate team to date and especially have you know how many players how many ultimate team players used him you know it was ridiculous how often you come up against Ali. but overall he really was the ultimate sweat beast on the left side of midfield and yeah five star skills you know good shot good pace you could not go wrong with LA last year then on to the sweatiest uh, CDM here and we do go with another Chelsea player who still is at Chelsea unlike David Luiz it is the inform version of Ramirez on FIFA 12 I mean my god that inform was so overpowered and sweaty it was insane now we move on to a man who does define the word sweat on FIFA it had to be Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang and we're going to go with his team of the season card last year which had an incredible 98 finishing and very very quick player as well there with 96 pace I mean you really couldn't go wrong with this guy I mean every year in FIFA though he really he really is just a sweaty twat I mean overall <laughs> he really is I mean you can't really you know differ from the fact that he is one of the sweatiest players you could find every year on Ottoman team and Aubameyang makes it into the team there but next up we go on to Mayuka the bazooka this man was unbelievably sweaty and overpowered on FIFA and last year for me was his best card and if you had him as a cam guys holy shit he was good five star skill moves four star weak foot my god he really did define the word sweater as well as Aubameyang there but really was an incredible player last year and one of the most overpowered as well next up though we couldn't do this video without including Christian Benteke and you really could include any card but I did decide to go with his inform uh, version of his card there and my god he really was a yeah well, he, he is still today on this year's FIFA it really is a sweaty beast and yeah he really does um you know score so many goals and is one of the top goal scorers I think on FIFA this year I think storage and Benteke may be the top two out of the top three um, highest goal scored by you know players who play ultimate team and I think you know there is good reason for that Benteke is one of the sweatiest players on FIFA but then we move on to the man who could be the sweatiest player ever on ultimate team it is of course Victor Ibarbo and this is uh, this year's version of his player card and my god guys the amount of times you come up against Ibarbo and he scores a goal against you it is really out of this world and my god his finesse shots are just ridiculous like you can see there and there is your sweatiest players ever though guys let me know who you think is the sweatiest player ever on awesome team in the comments below and whichever gets the most thumbs up will probably be the sweatiest player voted by you but then we go with the nil more there from fever 12 a very very sweaty player indeed next to him 
We uh, couldn't do this video again without Gabriele Bonhoeffer. The silver card from last year's FIFA was stupidly overpowered and sweaty. And then we go on to the next man in the team, and it is Petr Cech here, who does always, uh, you know, he's always up there as one of the biggest uh, and most sweatiest goalkeepers on the game, especially as he's gone down in price right now. But we did go with this last year's card, which is a really cool card indeed. And then we go with the uh, sweaty centre back there, which is Felipe Santana, his Dortmund card. And my God, guys, Santana did once have an inform card on FIFA and next up to him though we go with Abate there from AC Milan the right back 80 yeah was he rated there 81 rated and I do actually I think I do prefer the FIFA 13 cards guys to this year's version I don't know what it is they just look a bit cooler we then go with Alexander Eswine which was Baton's best mate there and then we complete the team with uh, Bernard as the sweatiest players ever on FIFA hope you guys enjoyed it and have an awesome day so who's the sweatiest player ever comment below leave a like for more team builders and subscribe and take it easy guys.